I'm uh, honored to be here. I'm sorry that I'm, I'm in a vehicle, but you know, that's <laughs> life these days, right? On the road again, so to speak. I, I want to be available to do the work I need to do, but I'm I'm also a husband and got kids, cats, dogs, ducks, chickens, donkeys, and a horse to uh, look after. So, oh, wait, you're, you're a farmer? <laughs> I'm, my wife, prior to moving to Tennessee, she said, I, I'd like to have a horse when we were living in California. And I thought, you know, golly, you're from the Czech Republic. You know, you're a school teacher. What do you know about horses? And I'd had them in my life. And man, I'm telling you, horses are expensive to feed. <laughs> I mean, there's always something going wrong with them health wise. And I said, why don't we, uh, why don't we first start with, you know, an equine, like, like a donkey. Right. And, and I'm thinking to myself, maybe we start with three donkeys, right? Cause we were having issues with, with, with uh, coyotes killing our animals. Wow. So I thought, you know, I'll get three donkeys. We'll rescue them. They won't be in that great a health. She'll have to spend all this time feeding them and fixing them and, so we get the donkeys and I mean, they're bloody eyed and, you know, fly bitten and everything. And I'm thinking, boy, this is going to be a little, she went in, got them fixed, healthy. And within a year and a half, the vet said, Michaela, you got the healthiest donkeys in the whole valley. And within five years, these donkeys almost looked like racehorses. They were in such great shape. So she says, can I have a horse now? And I figure, well, I'll tell you what, let's wait till we get to Tennessee. And the donkeys only were a, $125 each, you know, that figured let's start there. If it doesn't work, you no, know, there's no big economic <laughs> loss, right? And she is not going to want to mess with mucking and all that stuff. So um, I said, okay, I'll tell you what, sweetheart, we're going to get you a horse, but let's wait till we get to Tennessee because we need a horse that's acclimated to that area because it's a to totally different weather. Okay. Uh, and then we'll find some homes for the donkeys here. She goes, what are you talking about? I said, um, I'm, I'm talking about the donkeys, you know, they, they, they hear, you know, and she goes, I'm not leaving these donkeys here. These, these donkeys are part of their family. So the next thing I know, thinking to try to be economically, you know, wise and frugal when buying the donkeys at 125, turns out to, to take the donkeys from California to Tennessee, I had to have a racehorse company do it. And at racehorse costs to bring it, they were, almost 1500 bucks a piece to bring. So there, there, there went the whole out the door thing with uh, trying to save money. And she went from becoming, you know, a, 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 the chair in her school of 12 uh, K through 12 teaching music to now she's riding horses and roping. And, you know, she's, she's a cowgirl. She's the real thing <laughs> up at five in the morning, mucking and cleaning and, feeding them at six o'clock. And I don't know where she finds the time, but they love her. Um, so I'm kind of married to a ranchette as opposed to a rancher. 